Hi, welcome to Quiltinator.com. This is Michelle Johnson, and we are doing piece by piece Mystery Quilt 2014. This is clue number five. You should have 156 squares that you have sewn a triangle or a square on that you fold it in half and then sewed it over and what I've done is I've cut out the middle section because what I do is I sew these together with a quarter inch seam and I line up my squares and make sure they're square over here you're gonna see on some of mine that they don't line up they stick out a little bit and so what you're going to do is you can either take this to your rotary cutter and mat and go ahead and trim this off beforehand using your background as your template and then you know sewing it so you have that or you can just trim it off afterwards and so 56 of these are being put together and you want them to be scrappy and not all of these, or at least in mine, are going to make an exact perfect point. But that really is okay with me for this. And then um, for this part right here, I probably am just going to press these seams open. And then have them laying flat. So 56 squares put together and made into points trying to keep them as random as possible and again you're just going to take your squares line up your background pieces and if the other if you have stuff edging out like I have just a little bit make sure you follow your quarter inch on the on your background piece there and then you're just going to sew your pairs together and then on your other 100 squares, you already have one piece sewn on. And on the other 100, you're going to sew on the remainder of your, your other little squares. So you're going to end up with 100 pieces that look like this. So that's it for clue number five of the 2014 mystery piece by piece quilt. I'm Michelle Johnson, this is quiltinator.com, and I am getting back to quilting.